Hey everyone, this is one part of a bunch of videos that are going to end up going over tables and relationships between those tables. But in this video, we just need to set our project up. So I'm going to create my server.js file and initialize my node project with npm init-y. And now I'm going to install some of the stuff I need. Express, the SQLize CLI, SQLize. I'm going to need MySQL2 also right here. Okay, let's give it a little bit of time to install here. Okay, so now let's just clear all this out. You gotta spell it right. And now I need to use the tool I got in from the SQLize CLI to create some folders and some code for me. So I'm gonna say npx SQLize init press enter and there it goes so let's get out of my terminal and delete some of these extra folders we won't need like cedars we definitely need config and let's get rid of migrations as well now let's just open up workbench to create this database that we'll start writing into so in our local instance for dev purposes Uh, so this is leftovers from an older project here. Let's change this to associations DB. And this one down here, drop database if exists, create database associations DB. All right, now press control A to select everything and then control shift enter and everything was good. So I'm just gonna copy this because I'm gonna need it a little bit later. Let's open this with VS Code. And I'm just going to pop that DB right in here where it says database to swap it out with that bootstrap code they gave us. Put in our password. So let's inside a string, put password. Uh, and we are good. So now let's go to server.js just to finish setting all this up and make sure everything's connected. So let's bring in express, const express equals require express, uh, type it in right, there we go. And now let's create our app, const app equals express. Uh, we have to bring in a connection to the database, so db require, then in here put the path to the models. All right, and now let's declare a port which is going to be process.env.port. It's going to look to see if that exists for Heroku or port 3000 if we're not on Heroku at the moment. Now we just need some setup stuff. We need to set up the URL encoding app.useExpress.url encoded and then inside an object extended to true. And now for JSON, app.useExpress.json. And don't forget the curly braces here because you'll get a really nondescript error if you don't. So now we need to recreate the server where it's listening, but first we need to sync with our database as we're doing this. So let's go db.sqlize sync. Then we're going to open up this arrow function. And this is where we say app.listen. We have to fill in the port right here and now create a message for ourselves with this other arrow function console log and in backticks because we're going to use string literals let's say listening at and then let's add in our address http local host and now colon so that's a dollar sign it's brackets and add in the port so let's run this i'm going to say npm start and it looks like it connects to our database that's good all right, let's close this out, but there's a problem here. I wanna use a tool called Nodemon. So I have to add a new script in here. And the script's gonna be called dev, and it's gonna run this command, nodemon server.js. Great, so let's save this. Let's, get, let's run it with npm run dev. Okay. Oh. And we can see that we have this depreciation warning. Let's fix this 
and change this to zero for our operator aliases and that gets rid of it and now we know we are connected to our database. So great. In the next video, we'll create the tables.